Can you do that Eeyore impression you just said? What? Well, thanks for noticing me. <laughs> yeah, why do you know what Eeyore sounds like? Because that's Winnie the Pooh. Everybody knows Winnie the Pooh. All right, guys, I'm really excited about today's episode of Overboard because on the agenda for you guys, I am going to pick out two games that I think Mike is either bad at or has the potential to be a lot better at. I'm going to explain to you why. He doesn't know the games I'm picking out. It's a surprise. And I hope he's not too mad at me when I pick them out. This is a really hard decision, and we delayed kind of a couple days between the last video and this one because it's taken her that long to find two games that actually work for me. I will admit, Mike's pretty good at games. And the games I'm picking out are strategy games, not like Dax Eureka, which we showed you before. Are you ready? I'm very interested to see what you have to say. Yes, yes let's okay. do it. Close your eyes so you don't see me. Your eyes closed? Mm-hmm. Okay. Not an easy decision for her. Okay, what do you think it is? Um, we've... I've been having a hard time figuring out Tapestry, which is a, a new game we haven't gone over yet. We will at some point. So maybe that. Open your eyes. Oh, yeah, I'm not so good at that, am I? So this is an expansion to Dominion. It's called Dominion Prosperity. And for those of you who have played Dominion, sometimes it feels like a game of spoons where you're doing your thing, you're trying to, you're trying, you're kind of paying attention to what you have. And then all of a sudden someone grabs a spoon and you know that you have to start grabbing a spoon or else you're out. Okay. In Dominion, it's kind of like that, except with victory cards. So you don't really want to buy too many victory cards to get two points in the beginning because they clog up your hand. But once someone starts buying all the victory cards, then you have to start buying them or else you're not going to have enough points. You know what I'm talking about? Of course. It's like you're saying I don't do this well enough. Well, it's like the moment in the game when you realize that if you don't buy a victory card on all the, the rest of your turns, then it's pointless. You've got to get on the train before it leaves the station. Yeah, and the thing about Dominion is it happens at different times in each game. But prosperity, why it's different than normal Dominion, okay? There's cards that cost more, and there's also cards that add more money and are and make it so that you have more money to buy cards with and i think this throws off your math and it throws off your timing it definitely does it, yeah, like you don't know math element. you don't know when you should start I buying i don't know victory when to cards. start buying victory cards you're right so you either buy them too early or you buy them too late yeah and at that point i've won so how do i fix it coach you do what i do what do you do? I thought you were going to give me all your secrets. I thought that's what this was about. <laughs> no, I'm just telling you why you're bad. Do you want me to leave so that you can tell tell the audience your secrets? No, I just want to you tell you. You told me to know that I'm bad. Yeah. Okay. I see what this video is really meant to do. Okay. So, Dominion, so much fun. Dominion Prosperity. Mike is bad. And what's the other one? All right, close your eyes. Okay. Now, I'm not going to lie. This was kind of hard for me to figure out this game. That sounds like Dr. Eureka it's moving not. around. I might have picked it up. It's <laughs> okay, you ready? Mm hmm. Guess. Um, so if it's not uh, Wingspan, maybe. Oh, no, I didn't beat you all at that. Oh, your eyes. You know, you are pretty good at this game, and I've had a really bad run in this game for the last several months. So let's talk about this one. <laughs> all right, this is called Battle for Rokugan. If you've ever been playing Catan and you felt really bored and you just want all-out ninja warfare. Show them the back of the box because that gives a nice little picture of what it looks like when it's all laid out. I don't know if they can really see. Yeah, but, but a little bit. I, I need to talk about why you're bad. Okay, anyway. Battle for Rokugan. This is one of the... If, if we thought that Seven Wonders Duel was brutal, Battle for Rokugan, like someone's going to go home mad. Someone might not talk to you for a couple days. That's just how intense this game gets. Am, am I right? Am I right? This is the ultimate game of spite. Yeah. It, if you're it, looking to have an argument in your house between you and your husband and or, or wife, you know, or you can't leave your house safe for another who knows how long, this is the game to pick. Yeah. This game. And so what happens is if you're doing really well, everyone always goes after you. So it's it's actually sometimes it's not good to be doing really well in the beginning because yeah. you'll probably just get targeted. But reasons why Mike's bad. If you have gotten to know my, my husband and you've gotten past his sarcastic personality and his slightly standoffish ways, then you may know that Mike's really smart. What you might not know 
is that Mike has an equally, if not smarter, little sister. And we always played this game with Tiffany and Sam, Tiffany's his sister. And you guys just, you, it's personal. You spend all of your effort going after your sister, and I think it actually hurts you in this game. So you say it's too personal for me. My competitive desire to beat my little sister is my downfall in Rokugan. Yes. Okay. Also, I think you get ahead of your skis a little bit. And okay. by what I mean by that is I think you try and control too many territories, uh -huh. and then you can't defend the territories that you're controlling. Okay. But I think if you would just like let it go and just understand that Tiffany is smarter than you, and that you don't have to prove how smart you are every time you play with her. I think. Wait, wait. When did it become accepted that Tiffany was smarter than Tiffany's you? Tiffany's she's smarter than you. Well, we need to have other guests, and we need to have my mom weigh into this. We need to have a whole panel to figure that out because I'm not going to let you just get away with that. Anyway, reasons why Mike is bad, and this video was really fun for me to make.